The West Fusion Reactor in Catarake, France, set a new fusion record on February 12th. Some may find it hard to believe that such records are being broken one after another in 2024 and 2025. However, I ask you to take a look at the graph on the screen. If we compare 2018 to 2025, we can see that what was once thought impossible, the dream of fusion, is slowly becoming reality. The increasing duration of stable plasma suggests this trend. But what changed to cause a sudden leap in fusion duration? Before we explore that, let's look at the details of this new record. The reactor successfully maintained a stable plasma at 50 million degrees Celsius for 22 minutes and 17 seconds. This milestone surpassed the previous record of 17 minutes and 46 seconds, set by China's East Fusion Reactor in January 2025 by 25%. In the past, stable plasmas lasted only seconds. Now we are reaching durations of minutes and even approaching hours. This progress is a strong indicator that fusion energy is moving closer to commercial viability. To put it simply, fusion energy is produced by heating hydrogen isotopes like deuterium and tritium to 150 million degrees Celsius, turning them into plasma. At this stage, atomic nuclei collide and fuse, forming helium and releasing free neutrons. Since no material can withstand such extreme temperatures, the plasma is contained using magnetic fields. The free neutrons escape the magnetic field and collide with the reactor walls, generating large amounts of heat. This heat turns water into steam, driving turbines to produce electricity. Now that we are on the topic, let's answer a question that frequently comes up in discussions about fusion energy. If the sun achieves fusion at 15 million degrees, why do we need to reach 150 million degrees on Earth? The answer lies in pressure. The pressure at the sun's core is 340 billion times greater than on Earth. This intense pressure forces atomic nuclei close enough together for fusion to occur at a lower temperature. Since we cannot replicate such extreme pressure on Earth, we must compensate by increasing the temperature. Let's set everything else aside and look at the situation from a different perspective. The French reactor known as West just surpassed the China's East reactor only one month after its record. At first glance, it may seem like an energy race driven by science. However, the reality is more complex. West is located in France, but it is actually a European project. The name, West, likely reflects this collaboration. West is a medium-scale research facility operated by EURO Fusion, and its main purpose is to conduct experiments and develop materials needed for the ITER fusion reactor. The real goal is ITER the world's largest fusion reactor, even bigger than China's east. ITER is currently under construction in Catarake, France. To understand West, we must first understand what ITER is. ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is the largest nuclear fusion project in the world and one of the most ambitious energy initiatives ever developed through global collaboration. Its main goal is to assess the feasibility of commercial fusion energy and to lay the foundation for an unlimited, clean, and safe energy source for the future. Right now, the world's largest fusion reactor is under construction in France. Its goal is to generate net positive energy by stably confining plasma at 150 million degrees Celsius. To achieve this, it will operate inside a 27-kilometer tunnel similar to CERN and use a magnetic system that is 280,000 times stronger than Earth's magnetic field to produce 500 megawatts of thermal energy. Behind this massive project are the European Union's 27 member states along with China, India, Japan, South Korea, Russia, and the United States. In other words, all major powers with the potential to make significant investments in science are involved. The international scope of the project is so vast that even though many Russian scientific institutions are on sanctions lists due to the war in Ukraine, 30% of the superconducting cables used in ITER were manufactured and delivered by Russia's Bochvar Institute. At the same time, the West team that broke the 22-minute record is also working with Chinese scientists on ITER. The European Union and China jointly fund fusion research. Even though the reactors are called East and West, the two sides collaborate for ITER. At this point, we are in a field where science and technology take precedence over politics. I will leave any political commentary aside because we will focus on the technical developments in fusion energy. We will examine ITER in greater detail in a dedicated video later.
Here, West achieved its record 22-minute plasma duration while testing tungsten inner wall materials for a tear. At the same time, research on plasma stability was put into action. In 2025, the plasma stability software developed by the University of Seville under the Eurofusion umbrella was most likely tested here. This development allowed them to achieve a plasma duration 25% longer than what China had obtained. West's previous record in May 2024 was only six minutes at 50 million degrees. The dramatic improvement due to the new algorithms is truly remarkable. You can find details about this software in the description. Now let us look at the numbers from the experiment that led West to the record. For a stable 50 million degree plasma, lasting 22 minutes, the injected energy was 1.15 gigajoules. That amount of energy was consumed over 22 minutes. As an example, you could run all the air conditioners in a Tesla for 1,500 kilometers with that energy. But here the real question is this. If that much energy was input, how much energy was produced? The experiment did not disclose the Q value, which is the ratio of produced energy to injected energy. Since the primary aim of the research was to test the durability of the tungsten walls for ITER, the calculation of Q was not expected. The second most important factor in breaking the record was progress in the relationship between plasma and magnetic fields. Precisely measuring the instantaneous movement of the plasma and adjusting the magnetic field accordingly was critical to maintaining stability. Imagine measuring the movements at the outer edges of a 50 million degree plasma and instantly adjusting the strength of magnetic fields accordingly. This is truly an engineering achievement that pushes the limits of human intelligence. Meanwhile, for the superconducting magnets to function efficiently, they must be kept at absolute zero temperature, minus 273 degrees Celsius, just think about it. A tokamak reactor with an exterior at minus 273 degrees and an interior at 50 million degrees. It's truly mind-blowing. First and foremost, extensive experimentation is essential. The West Tokamak reactor had already surpassed 10,000 experiments by 2016. While the exact current number is unknown, it continues to grow. But how many experiments have been conducted at China's East Tokamak? According to reported data, that number has exceeded 100,000. Aside from a number of experiments, one of the most critical factors in setting records is having a consistent predictive model that can foresee plasma movements. Accurately analyzing movements in the plasma's edge regions is particularly crucial. This is where a plasma prediction model developed at Seville University in Spain, within Eurofusion's facilities in Germany, is believed to have played a key role. This model experimentally demonstrated the connection between ion levels inside the plasma and explosions in the edge regions, updating its prediction algorithms accordingly. The developed software performs real-time calculations to adjust the magnetic wave pulses of the superconducting magnets, maximizing plasma stability duration. The entire process functions as an integrated system, operating within milliseconds. Plasma movements are predicted in real-time, the necessary magnetic field adjustments are calculated, and the system is optimized accordingly. This allows the plasma to remain stable for longer periods. Once the plasma reaches 50 million degrees, its position is measured using laser pulses. But how do these laser systems withstand such extreme temperatures? The answer is simple. The laser emitters are positioned outside the reactor, where they remain protected from damage. Laser beams are directed into the reactor, and the reflected data is used to determine the plasma's position. This data is analyzed within milliseconds, allowing scientists to monitor plasma movements in real time. If a deviation is detected, the superconducting magnet's magnetic fields are adjusted within milliseconds. However, there's a critical challenge. These magnetic corrections must do more than just provide an immediate fix. They must also ensure long-term plasma stability. This is where a powerful optimization process is required. A poorly executed magnetic correction can cause the plasma to dissipate more quickly, whereas a well-calculated adjustment provides both immediate stabilization and extends plasma duration. However, solving such a rapid and complex optimization problem is incredibly challenging, even with classical computers. This is precisely why quantum computing could provide a major breakthrough in this field. In 2023, Germany's Ulich Institute introduced quantum algorithms specifically designed for plasma stability. 
These algorithms process data 100 times faster than classical computers, significantly improving magnetic field optimization. IBM's Quantum Heron processor was used in magnetic field tests for West, demonstrating the increasing role of quantum computing in fusion reactors. At this point, the insistence of tech giants and governments on developing quantum computers makes even more sense. Quantum computing is considered one of the most critical solutions needed to make fusion energy commercially viable. Returning to West's record, there is no detailed scientific publication on this achievement yet. The available data comes from West's official press releases. However, looking at past data, West's best plasma duration in 2024 was only six minutes. In just five months, this duration has suddenly increased to 22 minutes, which is a remarkable leap. Conducting numerous experiments and developing a strong predictive model are essential. But these alone are not enough. After each experiment, the tokamak reactor must be thoroughly examined and material measurements must be taken. In fact, the primary goal of these experiments is to understand how the reactor withstands plasma exposure and determine which materials perform better over time. This process is critical for the reactor. Scientists carefully analyze the reactor's inner surface after each experiment, recording the effects caused by plasma. At this stage, advanced robotic systems come into play. If you are seeing the inside of a fusion reactor for the first time, the robotic system currently displayed on the screen may seem impressive. This system is a specialized mechanism that operates independently and automatically records all observations. This robotic arm is called West Articulated Inspector and is covered with superconducting materials capable of functioning even at minus 270 degrees Celsius. Additionally, it utilizes terahertz wave technology, which can detect even micrometer-sized cracks in the reactor walls. All of this data is not only used for improving reactor materials, but also for making plasma prediction programs more accurate. These insights are crucial for better plasma behavior modeling and optimizing stability processes. Beyond plasma and magnetic field interactions, fusion reactors must also manage cooling systems, energy transfer mechanisms, and various other engineering challenges flawlessly. For instance, over 2,000 patents have been filed for China's East Reactor alone. This tells us that fusion reactors are not just about theoretical physics and plasma science. There are also massive engineering challenges. This is why many people still view fusion energy as an impossible dream. However, every new experiment and technological advancement brings this dream one step closer to reality. As we just discussed, having a great idea alone is not enough to develop such a complex system. Without skilled scientists from around the world, experienced engineers, and strong financial backing, attempting such a project would likely just make people smile in disbelief. For example, ITER's initial budget was set at 20 billion euros. However, due to technical challenges, material development processes, and the pandemic, this figure has now risen to nearly 65 billion euros. Despite these challenges, investments in fusion energy continue at full speed. The reason is simple. If successful, fusion energy will mark one of the greatest energy revolutions in human history. Now, let's answer the question we asked at the beginning of the video. What changed to extend plasma stability durations in fusion experiments? First, countries' motivations have increased due to growing energy shortages and difficulties in energy access. Second, thanks to ITER, a global knowledge pool has been created, allowing researchers to fill in the missing pieces. This phenomenon is now referred to as the ITER effect. Finally, since 2020, the use of artificial intelligence in quantum computing and plasma modeling has fundamentally transformed fusion research, making progress irreversible. See you in the next video.